the vast geographical zone of semi-aridity, the Kajiada district. During the colonial days, this district was closed to the non Maasai and was given very little attention. As a result, there was underdevelopment. The Kajiado of the immediate post-independence period therefore was faced with numerous challenges. These were poverty, lack of safe drinking water, poor utilization of the existing resources in the district, among others. However, to address these issues, the Kenya government initiated a program for the development of arid and semi-arid lands, which was known as ASAL. However, the level of success of this program was limited. In 1983, through a bilateral arrangement, the government of Netherlands started supporting development projects in the ASAL areas. Donor fundings were increased in order to address the fundamental problems of poverty and low productivity in the areas of agriculture, livestock, water, and education. This saw a new cooperation between Kenya and the Netherlands government, giving rise to a development agency known as the Semi-Arid Rural Development Program, SADEP. The mission of SADEP is to uh, improve the livelihood of the people in the district sustainably and with emphasis on uh, gender equity and uh, environmental sustainability. SADEP started off by putting more emphasis on community empowerment. The objective was to entrench the ability of communities to willingly participate in the identification, management and sustenance of projects within the productive sectors of agriculture, livestock, water and education. To create more impact with available resources, the program reduced the area of coverage into three zones that SADA prefers to as the Geographical Concentration Areas, GCAs, all based on the local production potential. These geographical areas were carefully selected in an inclusive exercise involving community members and an array of stakeholders. They are Kajiado Central, Magadi and Loik Tok Tok, all covering 25% of the population of the district in 43 sub-locations. SADEP uses the ability of the community to manage the natural resources as the entry point in funding of projects. In order to achieve sustainability, the SADEP program in Kajiado introduced a unique operational structure which starts at the grassroots and culminates at the district level, taking a keen interest in local governance, a process by which society manages its own resources or affairs for development. This critical strategy will create a more conducive environment where both men and women equally participate in planning, decision-making and sharing of benefits that accrue from development initiatives. To do this, SADEP organized several workshops in the three geographic concentration areas of Lake Tok Tok, Magadi and Kajiado Central. The workshops brought together all stakeholders who included government representatives, NGOs and community representatives who defined local governance and identified issues that affect good governance in the district. The communities in the district have now been empowered and are expected to elect their own committees that manage their projects. In these committees, each sector of the community is represented including women. In a setting of the Maasai, we have been able at least to identify the specific interest groups that must be given priority in terms of resource use so that they are not actually left out. For instance, we identify the youth as a group that is disadvantaged within the confines of the traditions because hitherto mainly they articulate their interests and so on through the elder people. But we feel very strongly that they have to be given a chance to be able also to have a say on how the resources should be utilized. The second group that we also give a lot of attention to is the women. Because also within the Maasai setting, the women are not given that opportunity to be able at least to articulate on how they should utilize natural resources. <laughs> The process starts at village level where needs are identified.
challenge. The community, together with SADEP, have identified these as a need and have scooped and fenced water pans. This has reduced greatly the distance of water sources, which are in most cases too long. Through the initiative of the community, SADEP has also assisted in digging of shallow wells at strategic locations. These wells have not only reduced the distance that women travel to alternative water sources, but has also reduced waterborne diseases by providing safe water. With water readily available, women groups have initiated drip irrigation projects where various vegetables, tomatoes and onions are grown for local consumption and sale. Mwanzoni kabla tujaanza hii moradi pamoja kama wakina mama wa kikundi tulikuwa na shida sana ya mboga nyumbani tulikuwa mama akipata mboga ni kuingia gari mpaka akajia tutao siku ya soko imetusaidia sana wakina mama wa Masai sababu sio kawaida ukute mama wa Masai anajua mahali anaweza toa pesa lakini wakati huu Tumefaidika sababu tunapata pesa hapa. Tuna pesa zetu atuombi kila wakati kutoka kwa wazee. In order to offer an alternative to traditional livestock keeping, beekeeping projects have been introduced in the district where Sadep has trained women groups and poor households on beekeeping skills and marketing of honey. It would be Results. Local democratic structure that facilitates sustainable development of the resources management area. Improved agriculture and livestock farming and related productive infrastructure. Improved use and management of common resources such as land and functional supply of safe domestic water. Improved primary education services gender balance in utilization and management of natural resources. The SADEP project in Kajiado, like others in Kenya, is benefiting from donor support provided by the Netherlands government through SNV Kenya. This project is to end in June 2002. However, there is need for development interventions in semi-arid areas to continue whether on own community efforts or through donor support. A new institutional framework at the divisional level is now in place. The Divisional Association of Community Rooted Organization, DACRO. This institution will link all development stakeholders at the divisional level. All project needs will be integrated after being received from the Community Area Development Committee's CADCs 
with technical input from the resource areas facilitation teams, rafts. DACRA will therefore have the mandate to attract donor funding into Kajiado district.